All right. So now we multiply by this five. But remember, it's not actually five. It's actually fifty. This is fifty. And so that's why we put a placeholder zero because um, it's not times five. It's times fifty. Five tens, basically, right? So five times nine is forty-five. Carry four. 5 times 9 is 45, and 4 is 49. Carry 4. Uh, maybe you all are seeing a pattern here. 5 times 9 is 45, and 4 is 49. Carry 4. 5 times 3 is 15, and 4 is 19. Carry 1. 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 is 16. And surprise, surprise, we should have got the exact same digits as the first time around we multiplied by 5. So everyone press pause and just think about, okay, well, don't press pause, actually. Just when we multiply by this 5, which is 500, remember it's 500, so I need two placeholder zeros, right? Um, what are the digits going to look like now? Is there, a, is there a short way of doing this? Because we just did it twice already, right? So hopefully if we hadn't made a mistake here, we, we should have a 5, and then a 9, then another 9, then another 9 then a six, and then a one, right? So that saves a little bit of time. And now we multiply by this two. Two times nine, oh, hold on a second, it's not two, it's a thousand. So don't forget three placeholder zeros, because we're multiplying by 2,000. So three placeholder zeros. Now, two times nine is 18, carry one. 2 times 9, 18, and 1 is 19, carry 1. 2 times 9, 18, and 1 is 19, carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 is 7. 2 times 3 is 6. And add digits together, and hopefully you all have them lined up nicely, like that. And like I said, in, in school, or you might have access to squared paper. That has nice squares in it. If you have access to that, that would be helpful for these type of problems. But if you don't, just try to line everything up nicely. So 5, and then put down a 4, carry 1. We got 10, 19, 24, carry 2. We got uh, 3 nines is uh, 27, and 10 is 37. And then 3 nines is 27. And 3 is 30, and 6 is 36, carry 3. And let's see, I got um, 2 nines is 18, and 3 is 21, and 6 is 27, and 1 is 28. Uh, do, I'll do it a different way. Uh, so this 1 and one and 9 makes 10, and 6 makes 16, and 9 is 25, and that is 28, right? And let's see, the 1, the 2, and the 7 make a 10. Plus 6 is 16, and these guys make 8. By golly, we got it right. That is definitely the correct answer. I've just checked the book, everybody. So I've just checked the instructor manual. So I don't expect you guys to get this right the first time. I didn't. I got it wrong. So, ha! <laughs> anyway. Alrighty. Good one.